Greg Hardy story took a turn last week when Deadspin obtained and published police photos of Hardy's ex-girlfriend with bruises and abrasions. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones and coach Jason Garrett said Sunday they had not changed their views on Hardy in the wake of the photo's release. Eagles offensive tackle Lane Johnson and center Jason Kelsey were very out outspoken after Philadelphia's 33-27 overtime win against Dallas. Johnson told the Philadelphia Daily News, quote, Anytime I had a chance to put a little extra mustard on a block, I tried. He wasn't all that emotional in the game. I guess he is in other games. I don't know if the stuff got to him on the news, but he kind of seemed out of it a little bit. Although Hardy recorded the Cowboys' lone sack Sunday, he didn't do much else in the game, and Kelsey was happy about that, saying, I'm glad he didn't have a good day. It's a joke. A guy like that is able to play this quickly. Three people I have zero respect for in this world, people who hit women, who molest children, and rapists. Stephen A. Smith, I agree with that one. Your reaction? Well, first of all, I think any decent human being agrees with what Kelsey had to say. Um, Greg Hardy should have been cut immediately. Now, obviously, for the purposes of this show, let's be very, very clear that my position has modified to some degree, but I want to make sure that I use this opportunity to clarify my statements from weeks ago. I was totally in support of Greg Hardy coming back to the Cowboys, but people forget why I supported that. My position has been very, very clear. You were convicted on a bench, on a bench trial of domestic violence. You appealed that decision. Ultimately, it was supposed to go to a jury trial, but ultimately, uh, but they could not find the victim, and as a result, the case was thrown out. Okay, the NFL ultimately got involved. Subsequently, they suspended you ten games. You appealed that decision. It got reduced to four. And from that moment forward, the thought process was Tampa Bay, along with other teams, may potentially be interested in Greg Hardy. He was going to go to the Cowboys. So my attitude was, why not? If, you, if somebody's going to grab him and you are basically getting him at no risk whatsoever because you have a no-tolerance policy, okay, he's going to be back in the league for somebody. Why take him? Do you want him on your team? No. Should he have been out of the league for at least longer than he was? Yes. But if he was going to be eligible to play, let him, let him, you know, I don't have a problem with the Jerry Jones and the Cowboys taking him. But then the photos came out, okay, in the aftermath of all of that. And people like myself and others raised the proverbial eyebrow. There are some people that are going to have a problem with that. I'm here to tell every woman, every woman in the world you have a right to have a problem with that. Because the reality of the situation is, is that it shouldn't take photos for us to come to these conclusions. But what you have to accept as a part of our reality is that visual matters. It's impactful. No matter what you read or no matter what you hear and no matter how we should absolutely positively feel, the visual has a profound impact and it can alter your thinking and elevate your level of sensitivity even more so. I could read about domestic violence and find it incredibly appalling and something needs to be done. Just like I read that police report. You could sit there and say this guy deserves to be suspended. He deserves to be cut, etc. But you have a slightly, at least slightly different emotion when you see and visualize what has transpired. And when I saw that mark, those marks all over that young lady, I remember Greg Hardy categorically and emphatically proclaiming his innocence and how she was lying and she did it to herself and all of that stuff. I believed he was lying, but when I saw those photos, I knew he was lying. And there's a difference in that. And so that's where we are right now. It's sad, and I think that Right now, the attention needs to be brought to the Dallas Cowboys because Jerry Jones hadn't seen these photos. And apparently, he was given by Hardy and his representatives a different, a slight, at least slightly different picture than what we ultimately saw. That should be excuse enough for Jerry Jones to sit there and modify his form of thinking and get rid of Greg Hardy. But the NFL had seen the photos, well, right? The, yeah, the yeah, Players but, Association had well, seen not, the photos. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you also have to understand, first of all, as it pertains to the NFL, they did 
what they could do. They suspended the man for 10 games, but they have a system that they have to operate under, and he was allowed to appeal. Mm -hmm. The Players Association, regardless of how much it may disgust everybody, you have union representation, and it's their job to come to your defense, regardless of how reprehensible that you may be. We live in a society with, with you know, we, we've got vicious criminals, murderers, and what have you. What is, what's the first thing we say? They're entitled to representation. So it, it, it's, it's something that comes with our society. We may not like it, mm -hmm. but it's the reality. So we can't blame the Players Association but so much. We can't blame the league but so much. But in terms of the court of public opinion, I think we've seen enough. I think we know what time it is. Okay. I certainly agree with everything you just said. But here's why I can't get worked up about Cut him right now. Sure. What did I tell you when my team that I root for signed Greg Hardy? You didn't want it. I, I, I was ashamed of it. I told you he's a despicable human being, and I don't want him on the team I root for because it's going to force me by association to root for this despicable human mm -hmm. being. And I got to tell you, last night, my emotions were torn. They were mixed because this guy is more trouble than he's worth. Get rid I, I mean, I didn't want him on in the first place. And then he's got such anger management in issues that we, we saw what happened the last game and the huddle and all that. But last night he gets a 15-yard penalty for a, a personal foul at the end of an Eagles extra point. Yes. I mean, he's just out of control. It's just like, get him out of my sight. I, I'm embarrassed. And what did I tell you after he did his first interview se uh, session? And, and he was so remorseless and, and so insensitive in his remarks that he made. I told you, I'm ashamed of my team. He's on my team. He's in my locker room doing this session. It made me sick at my stomach. But all I needed to do was read her testimony from the bench trial. If you took, I get you, Pictures are worth a million words, and they're, they're much more impactful. But if you took the time to read her testimony, it was so graphic, it was so sickening, it was so appalling that, that there's no way she could be lying about this because you couldn't make all that up. It's just, it, it's, it, it was mind-blowing to me. He got convicted in the bench trial, as you point out. And then North Carolina has sort of a quirky law that mm -hmm. allows you to mm -hmm. appeal for a jury trial. Mm -hmm. She did not participate participate and the authority said she was paid off before the jury trial mm -hmm. and this man skated and then the NFL suspends him for 10 games that's as far as they could go and then we have Jason Kelsey the Eagles center saying last night hey, this man doesn't belong in the league well Jason it was your players association that fought to get his suspension reduced to four games and I told you at that point Four games for that? Are mm -hmm. you kidding? I couldn't believe it was only 10 games. I told you on air. He should be gone for at least one year. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody, as you always say, deserves a second chance. One year. Just one year out, and then we'll think well, about it. But let's okay? be clear. Let's be clear. I never said he didn't deserve a year. Okay. Let's be clear. I never said that, you know what, he didn't deserve to be suspended. What I said was the Cowboys had acquired him after he was handed the 10-game suspension. So the point is, we spoke about Hardy in the aftermath of the Cowboys signing him, which ultimately was in the aftermath of him being approved to come back I, into the I, league I, after I 10 games. Yeah. If we had the choice, there is nobody, particularly in the aftermath of Ray Rice and to a far lesser degree, Adrian Peterson. After all of that went down, there isn't a soul alive with, yep. a, with, a, with, a, with a, a, a speck of decency that would not have sat up there if we had the choice and said he needs to be gone for the year, especially since last year when he was on a commissioner's exempt list, he still got paid $13 million. Mm -hmm. So we're like, you didn't lose any money, so oh. what did you lose? So in this particular age, you're going to just lose 10 games? That's ridiculous. But... The decision was made, the courts got involved, the suspension was reduced from 10 games to 4 games, and so the debate was about whether or not Jerry Jones should take this eligible player for the NFL, this eligible player for the NFL, he yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they the weren't NFL breaking any rules when, to sign him. when other teams sure. were expressing an interest. And I said, okay, you got him under a no-tolerance policy, that is what it is, but let's be clear. In the end, what it comes down to is this. He has proven to be despicable in his actions and I watch him on the sidelines and I gotta admit to you it's different from Ray Rice in this respect this guy's Ray, psycho, Rice's, man. Ray Rice's actions were reprehensible but the level of contrition that he has expressed says to me 
He has learned the errors of I his agree. ways, and he and he may deserve a chance. He just ain't, ain't as good as Greg Hardy. I agree. When I watch Greg Hardy on the sidelines and on the field to some degree, it's just a thought. He seems unstable. And, and I, I, I mean, it's, it's, he seems like he's a loose cannon, man. And, and, and I would be worried. I would be mm. worried if I was around Greg Hardy. I'm talking about anybody should be. I think, I think it, there's a reason. There's something wrong there. More trouble there's than he's wrong. worth. Go ahead. Yes. Exactly. I just wanted to say quickly, I wish that charges were still pursued by the legal system, regardless if the victim pursues them. So I guess, uh -huh. you know, my main issue is there, and that's out of our hands. But the one other thing I want to say is I was reading on Twitter, and so many people were saying how Nicole Holder was paid off. She just wanted the money. How about she's traumatized? This man threatened her life, was a complete monster to her, and she doesn't want to relive this every day and see him in court. Mm -hmm. So she agreed to terms. Maybe she was scared. Well, Good point. I, I hate that angle, yeah, but, that she's but, a gold digger. But, yeah, the, the, it's ridiculous. Ignore those fools. Here's the deal. Remember, she gave testimony for the bench trial. Sure. But they were asking her to revisit it, mm -hmm. which speaks to your traumatization. Enough. And also I remember, agree. also remember, this guy, that's the very guy we're talking about right now, because of all of these photos that came out Friday, the record was just expunged. Mm-hmm. It's just expunged. So the yeah. legal system said, essentially, officially as of Friday, mm -hmm. the legal system said it never happened. Yep, all the violent crimes It never done. happened. Well, His record is expunged. Let's keep that in mind. <sighs> Thank you, guys. After the break, uh, we start a lighter subject. We head back to Mollywood. Questions oh. from the service men and women here at Westover Air Reserve Base in Chicopee, Massachusetts. Stick around for that. The fans are taking control. I love it. Direct access to you, too. Mm.